All right, so to download TopCon Receiver Utility that you use to update uh, firmware and any other settings on your GPS receiver from TopCon, you have to go to topconpositioning.com. If you don't already have a login, you can sign up, but otherwise you're going to log in. Type into your credentials over here, your username and your password, sign in. Once you're signed in, you'll see your name up top over here. Now I can go to into My Topcon. My Topcon is the portal where you can manage all of your devices, uh, hardware and software. But in my case, I have a lot of uh, hardware over here. If you don't have the hardware that you actually own in this list, you can always go into uh, Products. And under products, you want to scroll all the way down until you see the utility called Topcon Receiver Utilities. So, past here, past here, and we are going to be seeing the utility right here, Topcon Receiver Utility. Click that. Depending on the platform that you're actually downloading, you might want to... Uh, verify right here in the firmware software versions which one you're actually downloading so there's a version for an fc5 uh, 2600 for a personal computer which is what i'll be downloading because i'm i'll be installing this on my computer here so let me hit download I'll hit save we'll wait for the download to finish So once it's finished, click it and pretty much follow the prompts for, I already have one installed, that's why it's asking me to change, but in your case it might be a new installation. So this might just say install, I'll hit OK. And this will install Topcon Receiver Utility on your computer by actually checking in the background over here if you have a winner no internet connection once it's done you can let it say launch topcon receiving utility to finish a little window should pop up and it's actually here and we should see version 3.4 now you're ready to install firmware and check settings on your receiver if uh, you're looking for where the uh, topcon receiving utility actually installed it should be on your desktop it actually happened to have inserted itself in here, so uh, that's where, if you lose it, you can always find it here. Uh, hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any problems, and I'll see you in the next video.